Hi everyone, welcome back. Steven here and this good afternoon in Sydney, Sydney Harbour. The message today is about uh, spoiled kids. Now here, this is a message to all you parents out there. You probably have uh, 18 year olds living with you and you guys are feeding them, uh, giving them lunch money, even giving them money to go out uh, night clubbing. Please stop, you're not helping your kids. Plenty, a lot of parents out there, they think that by giving money to their kids, they're actually solving them or uh, paying for the uh, car registration and all these things. Even I don't, I don't understand why parents give kids, um, buy, I don't know, some parents buy kids a car. That's stupid. Um, you shouldn't be buying cars for your kids. Make the kids earn their own money, um, earn their own car, and their own living. When you're doing that, you're actually crippling your kid. Some people I know have sons that are over 21 or 22, and they're still living with mommy and daddy. Uh, they'll never leave because you're always uh, throwing them the life vest. You should. It's like you're throwing them in an ocean. And as long as you're there, they're still gonna swim to you. You're the life vest. Take the life vest and tell them to swim across. And that's what life is. Teach your kids to fend for themselves. If they can't, throw them in the village, kick them out. You gotta be cruel to be kind. So parents out there, or people out there who have kids who are adolescents who are grown up, only in able to drink beer and only in able to spark, only in able to get girlfriend or boyfriend. But they can't pay for their own way. They're still living with mommy, daddy. They're still uh, lazing off you guys. You guys are actually not really helping them. Kick them out of the house, make them fend for themselves. Or not, you're gonna live there, you're gonna take care of them till the end of the 30s and 40s. So, on mama and on papa, kick, get rid of your kids after they're 18, kick them on the street, kick them on the settlement, wherever they need to go to become a man and a woman. Uh, they need to fend for themselves. If you don't do that, it's called tough love. They may hate you for the first two years, but they'll thank you for it later in life. So that's the message. If you like it, please like and subscribe. Uh, beautiful afternoon here in Sydney, and I'll uh, see you guys.